the Numbat. It really is one of our national treasures. I'm very lucky to see this guy, he's very shy. I'm actually at a wildlife park and it's feeding time. So the little fellas come out. They actually have really long tongues, so they like to eat ants and all sorts of things like that. I'm just using some watercolour. I'm really just taking sort of visual notes because I want to do a t shirt design of this and I want to just get the characteristic of this animal. Get a feel for the way it moves. There's two of the little fellas now. And sometimes it's nice just to add a little bit of colour to some rough sketches that I've done. So I'm at the Alice Springs Desert Park. And it's a really great place because it's so natural. It's like walking around in the wild most of the time. And it's just one of the best places to see a numbat. And if you're travelling around Australia, I highly recommend you come to the centre and check out the Alice Springs Desert Park. Ah, oh, he's finally come out. I'm not so shy now. So I'm taking notes on the spiky little tail he's got. So it looks a bit more wiry than I thought. His funny little feet, how pointy his snout is. All these little characteristics that I'll take into the drawing when I get into the studio. Numbats are one of those very vulnerable creatures where their range has diminished a lot since Europeans have come to Australia. We bring things like rats and cats and uncontrolled dogs and things like that really play havoc with our wildlife. Because marsupials have not evolved to handle cats and dogs and certainly not rats and humans. And having places like this where they have well kept and their population can increase. And since I was a zookeeper once, the next zookeeper, I can be really critical of zoos when I walk into them. And I have to say that this one's really well kept. The animals look pretty content. And a lot of animals are actually trying to sneak in, which is always a good sign that they've created a good environment for animals. In fact, when Jennifer and I go around a lot of wildlife parks, we love it when we see all the other animals trying to sneak in as opposed to being trapped. So back in the studio and I'm using Indian ink. I'm doing it on like a tracing paper type material. Here I'm using an opaque pen to do the colour separations. So after I've done the drawing I put something over top and trace it. These clear bits that block out the light they enable me to make a stencil for screen printing. Just grab my favourite ink and you'll see this is a three colour job. I print that sort of rusty Central Australia reddish brown colour, then a white, and then to put it all together to link the whole thing, I screen print a black over top of it. So they're not exactly the sort of uh, things that are just spat out of a computer or a machine, it's all manually printed. Now this ink is a water-based ink and for it to be waterproof, so it'll go through the wash, it has to go through a heater. So I've got a little heat tunnel that this goes through on a little conveyor belt. And at the Alice Springs Desert Park, not only can you see these guys, you can also buy my t-shirts there. Link in the description below.